Sandy, why don't you tell us what's going on right now with Rex and what initiatives are you driving? Okay. I want to welcome everybody here tonight. I feel very privileged to be sitting in this space with the very people that began the Rex Foundation and have honored me with the privilege of carrying it on for the last 10 years. Uh, it was, as you know, started by the Grateful Dead in 1983 with the first Rex benefit in the spring of 1984 right here in the Marin Civic Auditorium. And we've been, we've now given out $8.6 million to over a thousand programs all over the country. And for the last 10 years, and as we renewed the foundation in the absence of Grateful Dead touring, we've been connecting in a broad-based way with musicians who feel they owe their existence and inspiration to the Grateful Dead and want to support what the Grateful Dead started. So we've got bands all over the country doing Rex Musical Caravan events uh, that raise a dollar per ticket and we connect with local communities. We're at music festivals doing Rex jams where we raise money right in the festival and support local high school musical and art programs. And we put on our own musical benefits to carry on the culture in which we were started where the money we raise then goes out as grants and we've continued the tradition of giving out grants that are generally smaller uh, in the 5,000 uh, range to programs that are on the ground doing outstanding work in areas from helping the environment to providing innovative educational programs, supporting the arts, particularly to engage youth uh, to providing needed social services and building strong community. So we are doing a kind of grassroots in terms of fundraising and grassroots in terms of giving. We also started a few years ago a very special program that kind of happened by accident. It's called The World As It Could Be. And it's about raising awareness about this wonderful document called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that Eleanor Roosevelt got through the United Nations in 1948. And we found out that only 6% of the US population even knows it exists and yet as we felt we wanted to do at Rex in the last few years, we wanted to be a catalyst for positive social change, where we're really making it possible for a world where people really have access to equity and justice and the pursuit of happiness. And we found that this document actually lays out that vision. It spells out 30 articles that would, if everybody had them, they would be achieving that, that very world. So we've embarked on this wonderful program where we use the creative arts as a key piece of teaching about the Universal Declaration, encouraging young people to express their creativity while also learning something and having them feel really involved in their education. So it's, it's very connected. We just had a young man who's only 12 years old that is a serious deadhead <laughs> who wanted to help the Rex Foundation as part of his community service project and ended up writing an original song called The World As It Could Be, performed it at the Gathering of the Vibes Festival and couldn't believe he was on the same bill as Further. <laughs> so uh, we feel like that's the perfect full circle. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we've been doing. We're really trying to just connect, be a vehicle to connect uh, all the good that, that started us in the world of the Grateful Dead concert community and continuing it on into the future thanks to support from individuals to foundations to musicians to all the people that feel they want to keep doing what was started by all the people sitting right before you. How do we reach you and what can we do to help? Uh, you can reach us, you can go on our website and check out everything we're doing at rexfoundation.org. There's a donate button that even shows the different ways you can help. We have musical downloads that we've created uh, thanks to generous musicians so you can get some music while also supporting us. Uh, you can make a direct contribution. You can help us by identifying programs in your community that you think really are worthy of, of investment and telling us about them and being part of what we're doing and uh, coming to our events and in, and figuring out how we can be part of the community that you live in. And just call anytime, 415-561-3134. Okay, thanks so much, Sandy. Great Thank job. Thank you.